and and like uh, can you walk us through like a very uh, typical instance that uh, what does what does a day look like for an applied machine learning engineer at viaduct like how what is a normal i don't know if there are sprints or not like what is what is normally a month a, a day would be a very uh, bad example but like maybe a month like what are what are the kind of assignments that you get how do you deal with it and what is the end factor of that gratification that hey i completed it and you who uh, some kind of moment so like can you walk us to like how do you get like at least for software developments they have these kind of fixes that they work on and hence like their work is being done like what is what what does that look like for an applied machine learning engineer yeah definitely we also operate our startup also operates in the agile framework and one of their biggest challenges is to try to um i don't know turn ml projects into something that can be worked on in the agile framework like how do you design sprints around ml or how do you design like epics and all of these things uh for me personally i, I think that my my day or month in a life of me as an ml engineer is very different from months in a life of other ml engineers i personally believe in kind of like my time as a portfolio and this sounds terrible but i want to invest my time in like different types um of projects so like i will always have like a moonshot project going on i will always have a like definite i know i can do this project going on and then i always it's usually like two projects i am like seriously invested in and the other i spend the rest of my time like collaborating with others sharing my results with them helping others on their projects seeing where i can be of help in other places so uh, most of my moonshot projects are like uh, take like state of the art research and like see what it can do and then most of my um like definite i know i can do these projects or like i know i can win from this project is uh more it's closer to actually data engineering and like building robust pipelines software stuff rather than like promising some result on a ml model right right and what would be a typical nightmare for an applied researcher like for at least for people like us who are i mean i'm still relatively new but for me a nightmare as a researcher and an academic researcher would be not able to implement a model that has a theoretical proof but that would be a nightmare for me like hey i'm not able to do that or maybe for a infrastructure based engineer it would be just not able to fix that bug what is a nightmare for an applied researcher applied ml i'm sure researcher. it's different for everybody the the biggest nightmares for me are when i feel like i don't have agency over what i'm doing <laughs> so for example like i believe that this is the project that will help us the most and somebody else tells me that's not true and they want me to work on something else like that is just the biggest nightmare for me but um probably it speaks more to my personality than like actually to my role <laughs> 